Okay. Hey guys, I uh, just wanted to quickly talk about uh, merch, which I don't really talk about that much on this channel. I mean, I go over card game stuff, but not like t-shirts, stickers, magnets, pins, mouse pads, whatever. I don't really talk about that. Um, if you don't know, I've been trying to, I, I have been making merch, uh, not specifically just for book stuff, but for like the vocal cover channel, for the main channel, and just for random stuff that I like, uh, so I can buy merch for myself to either sell or have. Um... And I, I was trying on different sites before. I think I was doing like Spring. And while I liked Spring, it was pretty quick. It was uh, easy enough to make. Um, the problem was the shipping costs were so high. I had somebody who bought um, like stickers and stuff. And each item was shipped uh, separately and charged separately for shipping, as I understand it. So it was just egregious how that was handled. And so once I found out about that and basically like whatever they were paying doubled by because of shipping, I was like, no, 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 we're putting a stop to that. I need to find a different site because that's ridiculous. So I was shopping around and I went to uh, Printify. Now, I liked Printify because it listed all the stuff on my Etsy store. So I could just have everything under an umbrella and you could see my art and you could just buy stuff from um etsy through me um and it would go through printify and then whatever have you it was cool and it was it was it was a little bit more challenging to make stuff individually i couldn't like batch make stuff i'd have to make every single item individually which is a which is a huge nightmare but i was gonna go through and do it and i did it for a little bit but then i realized as i i kept getting emails just like hey order pending um problem issue with payment i'm like payment i didn't order anything what do you mean and i kind of ignored it just thinking it was whatever some something stupid and then i finally caved i looked at it and realized that the way printify does it is like they um you have to connect your debit card to it or like a paypal or whatever and it will charge you for stuff that people buy and then when they make it and they ship it, then they collect the money from the customer and then reimburse you that plus the profit. So you had to like you had to have a wallet of your own money in order to sell stuff, as far as I understand it. And I'm like, that doesn't make any freaking sense at all. I'm not doing that. Screw you. So all this to say I am I'm back on making things on Redbubble. Now, I didn't really care much for Redbubble as a seller because I felt that the profit margin for what it cost was a little bit too high back in the day. I think they've gotten better about it. I do like the quality of Redbubble stuff. I, I buy stickers from Redbubble all the time. Um, laptop stickers, car stickers, um, just phone stickers. I would, I constantly, any car, any sticker you see on my car or anywhere is basically probably from Redbubble. I like their stickers a lot and I like their shirts. I like, and then their interface is really easy and I'm back on making things at Redbubble, Redbubble because they have gotten better about their pricing and it is more fair to the consumer as well as the seller, me, and I can adjust all the markups. Um, right now I'm selling things at a 3% markup, so I'd still keep it low and so there's still like a little bit of profit. I think I might I could increase that to five percent. It depends. If it's a sticker, I make it like five percent because that's like not that much more and it's more appropriate for a sticker. But when it comes to like expensive shirts and stuff like that, I just stick pretty much everything else at three percent so it's affordable because I don't care about making the money off it. It's more about um just having products available. You know, people want to rep a shirt for the book series, they can. So um the store is technically live right now but don't go shopping around on there right now until i make a video saying hey my store is open um this is video is just talking about merch and then i will be making a video saying hey go check out the store because it is available so um yeah I, i'll be working on that i'm slowly um putting some stuff on and the way that they their interface is a lot better when it comes to uploading things because I can upload one image and make any product on the site off of that image in a very contained process. So I'm going to be working on that, and I'm going to try to put things in their specific collection. So you'll have book stuff, you'll have um, other YouTube stuff, you'll have vocal cover stuff, you'll have personal stuff. Like I, I think I might, I might post like photography prints or something like that, like some old photos I've taken. And I, I'm going to put pretty much whatever I can on there and organize it all into collections. So, again, don't go shopping there right now. Don't go exploring. I'm sure you can. I'm not going to link to it, but I'm sure you could probably find me on there. 
Um, I, I don't, if you see uh, an account under AH Lincoln, that's not, I mean, that's me, but that's like my old Redbubble. Red I don't think it's up right now, but AH Lincoln is not my active Redbubble. I need to go see if I can sign in and like close that if it's still open because I believe that was my old one. But um, I'll just say the, the one under my store is Lincoln's Legion, but don't go shopping around there yet because I'm not done yet. And I'd rather if anybody did want to go and buy a few things at once, um, not to purchase and then come back later and be like, oh, I could have bought that because now you have to spend more additional money on shipping and wait longer. So just, you know, give me if I'm going to put this video up right away, but give me a few days to kind of get some items up in stock. And uh, when you see me post a video saying the store is up, then go for it. I'm, I'm still, I'll still add things after that, but like I want to make sure I get like a catalog live first. You know what I mean? So yeah, I'm gonna be working on that. So uh, 